Hey guys, this is emix 77 and I'm going to show you all some advanced keying. I've had a couple videos in the past, but I'm going to show you some advanced techniques and a secret. And um, a lot of people ask me where I get my green screen cheap. Well, I went to Walmart and bought a 79 cent green poster board. You can get several of these and put them all over your wall if you have to, whatever it takes. And also, I have a clip from I bring in from Lifetime right here, like a star. So I laid them over top of one another in a timeline, like so. I want to double click my green screen clip and I'm going to go to my effects bin go down to key and get my chroma key or filter and drop it on my clip in the timeline this will throw up a chroma key tab go to your chroma key tab and you'll have some controls here well this is kinda easy if you got a good green screen all it will take is click the dropper and go over here and click the color you want to key out boom and that keys out some of it so don't adjust anything yet here's the secret click the dropper again hold the shift key and then click again in your green screen. And that gets rid of some more. Click the dropper again, hold the shift key, and keep doing this until all the color is gone. Or until you can get rid of most of it anyways. Like that right there. You can scrub through your clip and find if there's any spots that you've missed. You know? And if you can't quite get it all, if you can't quite get it all, Go in and start adjusting your sliders. I'm going to leave everything alone because every time you pick your color, it makes adjustments. So I'm going to bring my edge thin up. This will get rid of a lot of it. And I'm going to bring my softening up. I'm not going to set and fool with it completely, but you guys get the point here. And there we go. And we have a nice, beautiful key from just a fucking, excuse my language, a freaking poster board. So, um there you go guys that's really nice and say there's a part on the clip that you don't want to key out just duplicate your clip by holding option and dragon or right clicking and saying copy and then clicking and saying paste bring it down underneath your other clip like this like so and then what you want to do is go into your match folder get a four point garbage mat Drop it on your new clip, double click it to load it in, go to your filters, and you'll see the garbage mat. Click the little plus here, and this will bring up your pluses over here in your canvas. Grab it in, bring it down, like so, and adjust it around the spot you want to keep. We do this real fast. And what it'll do is it will cut a hole in your mask. Let me get my chroma key here and turn it off. As you can see, it'll cut a hole in your mask and it'll like leave this part untouched. It won't key this part out. As you can see, when I put my background back, that part's there. I just duplicated my clip and made a four point garbage mat around the spot or logo for scratch patch films or anything else you want to use so i hope you guys have learned something this has been emeek77 for final cut studio school and uh we'll see you guys next time